Hello, this is Itachi Chia. Kisame Hoshigaki, Gara of the Desert. Hinazi Hyuga, Neji Hyuga, Arashimaru, Sasuke Chia, As Elf, Mesprit, Yuxi, Batman, and the Joker. Aw, yeah. Here we are again with another review of Monday Night Raw. Yeah, sorry we didn't do this last week. We were all really fucking busy, so. And I'm not spending three hours to watch a show I really don't like. Just, just, yeah. We're not really willing to do that here. But we had time this week, so we did it. Alright, so where do we start? Well, WrestleMania ended. Bray Wyatt lost. Saw so that fucking coming. That's really fucking sad. He was on tonight, right? Oh, yeah, he was on. He's not done with Cena yet. Oh, God. So, apparently a lot happened last week. We got a new Divas Champion. Yes, we do. We'll get to her shortly. We'll get to her shortly. Yep, yeah, we will. So we got the new Divas Champion. Uh, Bray Wyatt lost. Daniel Bryan won. He's the World WWE World Heavyweight Champion, but he wasn't on tonight. And uh, that's about it. That's about all. That was really important. Oh, Brock Lesnar broke the streak. He did. We were wrong about that one. How about that? <laughs> How about that? Alright, so apparently the Ultimate Warrior was on last week and he fucking died on Tuesday, probably from a steroid overdose. Maybe it was from doing that shit with the ropes he did last week. Alright, so anyway, the show started tonight, it was a tribute to the Ultimate Warrior, and uh, um, they rang the bell ten times, and the Warrior chants and all that shit. Good for them, good for them. Yeah, we, we would talk about this part in more detail, but we'd start shitting on it, and then people would say we were being disrespectful in the comment section. So, yeah. So, we're, we're not even going to say anything about this, because we'll just start shitting on it. Next! So, the first match of the night was RVD. He apparently returned last week. Rob Van Dam versus the Mexican guy. Del Rio? Yep. Alright, so what happened in this match? Um, Del Rio didn't even have an entrance. Well, it was laughable. If his music played for like two seconds, he was already in the ring. So then RBD came out, and uh, uh, he argued with the referee. Like Alberto argued with the ref. Okay, what is that gonna do? That's just being a baby. What do you mean it was three? Now, as normally, I like babies. I like fucking them. But the point is, it's like... What is that really going to solve? It's not going to solve anything. Why would you just fight with the ref? It doesn't make any sense. Apparently, it's like he's like, he, it's for like, purposes of healing it up or some shit. Oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. So, RVD was flipping around the whole time. I'm old as he now. Like, how could he still do that? Doesn't matter, though. The ending of the match had no class. Or Belcher Del Rio was on the turnbuckle. RBD just came over and, and, and pulled his legs and his neck hit the turnbuckle and he just fell over and did the, hit the five-star frog splash. And pinned him. Yeah, this match is for some fucking battle royal tournament for Titty Langston's Intercontinental Belt. So, we'll see how that works out. So, this video from last week about the shield and all that shit and all uh, uh, yeah, so skip that. Next was the dumbest thing in the history of anything. Okay, they played some fucking stupid Toys R Us ad where Seamus and Titty Langston were sitting there. We gotta, we gotta get our pictures taken with our action figures to win the Toys R Us grand prize. I know they're advertising, but for God's sakes, it was awful. And so the mom's like, oh, you can't use your action figures. So Seamus and Titty Langston switch out. It's really stupid. It was really stupid. It's for the children. Fuck the children. Fuck the children, absolutely fuck them to hell, we don't like the children. Yeah, we don't like the children, so that was really dumb. Next, we have a segment backstage with Triple H, Orton, and Batista. That's right. So, Triple H is going on and on about how the Shield are the big threats this week, because Daniel Bryan's not there. And so, he, so, she says that the Shield aren't going to let Batista and Randy Orton anywhere near the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, and they suggest working together. And then he's rejected. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. So they turned him down. Like, Batista said he's only there to be champion. Orton's like, I deserve a rematch. And then they left. Okay. Good luck getting a rematch now, because you just pissed the authority off. Good job. Well, he didn't really, really piss him off, as later in the show. So that segment was dumb. Next, we have gay couple Ryback Axel against 
Incest Brothers. Oh, good. So, so Ryback was dressed in fucking yellow, and I looked like total shit. It was embarrassing. It made me feel really stupid for some reason. So, Ryback was embarrassing. And we've seen this match, like, eight fucking times. Eight fucking times now. It's ridiculous. How many more times are they going to fucking air Rybaxel versus the Rhodes Brothers? We've already seen it. Like, eight times. So, that happened. Oh, and Kasama, you're going to love how this match ended. Let me guess, let me guess. It ended with somebody kicking somebody else in the face. No, close. He punched him in the face. My God, what is it with... What is it with the WWE and, like, getting hit in the face? It's like, what the hell? What the hell's up with that? Yeah, uh, Ryback, clothesline, Cody Rhodes, and pinned him. So he just punched him in the face, basically. That's fucking bullshit. I can punch somebody in the face, and they're not going to stay down for a three count. It's going to take a lot more than, than clotheslining somebody in the face. What is it with the WWE getting hit in the face? Is the face, like, a, a, the new ball sack? Is that what it is? Fucking stupid. So there's that. Wow, we're getting we're getting lots of shit done. Oh yeah, here we go. Paige versus Alicia Fox. Alicia who? Alicia Fox. Wait, there was somebody else in the ring with Paige. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh god. All right, Tachi, just fucking say it already. Paige is the fucking hottest chick I have ever seen in my fucking life. I'm not kidding you. Oh my god. She is so fucking sexy. Just, oh my god. Ugh. Oh. Ugh, oh, what are you guys blabbering about? We've already told you this. We said it when she came out. She's like, oh my god. What, what did you say? What did you describe it as, Itachi? Oh, Paige, she's God's gift to my dick. Oh my god. You fool. Yeah, that's what that's what she is. Okay, she's a gift. She was a gift. Okay, so Paige is. You, you, you gotta see her to believe her. Okay, you, you just got. You gotta see her. We'll, we'll look her up right now. She is fucking hot. When we when I when I, I say hot, I mean fucking hot. Okay, it takes a lot for me to say a girl is hot. She is fucking amazing though. I mean, we're, 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 Page uh, WWE. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. No. I just want to see the fucking picture of Page. This is so hard to ask for a full screen of the fucking picture. She is fucking really hot, though. Seriously. Wait, where's that picture? There it is. She she's fucking hot though. Just just pull pull it up on your screen because it ours is too small. But oh my god, oh she's really sexy. Cause she's like a fucking vampire. She's like she comes out she's butt ass white. Okay, and it's, and it's like contrast. Even her theme music was kind of weird. Her theme music was great, man. What the fuck are you talking about? As soon as I saw her on the Titantra, I'm like, oh my god. This, this is... Oh god. And so, the, the, the commentators, they, they, uh, I heard somebody, I heard one of the commentators talk about having, having way with Paige or something. Yeah, I'd like to have my way with Paige. Yeah, I would. She's great. She's really great. This is, well, this is embarrassing. Why are we degrading ourselves this low? Because, Gara, that's the only reason we're watching the show, remember? So, and w once fucking uh, 20 out of 10 comes out, I'm gonna be fucking talking about it. No, I I'm not saying, I'm not saying I'd fuck her, but if I, if, if I could have any girl in the world I, to fuck, I'd fuck her. Oh, okay, that's enough. That is enough. Okay, so, so there was a lot of hair pulling in this match. Um... Page won with this submission, and uh, the, the announcer said she was on fire because she's fucking hot as hell. Ain't that the truth, my bro? Oh my god. Okay, so that's it for the Divas match. That's it for it. Okay, next. We have the Usos versus Randy Orton and Batista again. Yeah, just like last week. Yippee, another Randy Orton Batista versus the Usos match. So the Usos came out, they were wearing their face paint and the Ultimate Warrior shit. Yay. Good for them, good for them. 
So, uh, Batista's shouting at the ref. We know how much we hate that shit. Yep. So, uh, so Batista did something with his crotch. Like, and he shoved it in James's face or something. It was really weird. Surprised I didn't keep him down for a three count. So then, the shield comes out. It's like the shield hits Batista with a spear. And, you know, so it's a Superman punch. And then, it's like they interfered in the match. And it's like, what the hell? You just proved Triple H's point, you idiots. If the Shield were even watching Raw. Well, I know it's all scripted, but... The Shield are stupid characters because they did this. Why wouldn't you leave them alone? Now you can just kick Triple H's ass on your own. Why would you attack Randy Orton and Batista? Good job, Shield. You have no brain. Well, when, when, when you've got fucking crazy Dean Ambrose leading you, you're going to make some stupid decisions. Well, why doesn't Roman Reigns say something? Because Roman Reigns has no brain, because he's obviously the brawn of the shield, so he had, that means he has no brain. Well, Seth Rollins, at least. Seth Rollins, was, I guess he was smoked a bunch of crack tonight. I don't know. So then they run into Triple H backstage. He says, oh, I told you. Like, I kicked your fucking asses. Yep, so good for Triple H. Good for him. And so, as soon as they did that, we knew what was going to happen at the end of the show when the Shield had their match. We wonder who's going to come out. So not predictable. I was really on the edge of my seat, trying to figure out who that was. So, it's like the Shield of fucking retards, and what the fuck is with this Superman punch move? I mean, he goes, no, no not the Superman punch move, yeah. He, like, he, he gets, like, in a Superman pose and goes, ooh -ah! and the crowd does it with them. It's really fucking weird. I know their, their faces now, but it's just, like, it, it looks weird. It's just off. Okay, so there's part one. Let's move on.